And tonight with the two investigation, a Chicago area teen in court for illegally possessing guns. His case raises questions about young people who could be a threat. As two investigator Brad Edwards reports, we know one thing for sure about Jacob Zach. Police say he had a lot of guns. What did you plan on doing with all those guns? These guns found in Jacob Zach's bedroom. Police found a 9mm Glock style pistol three AR-15 type guns, a 40 caliber Glock type gun, and four green boxes of live ammo. We caught up with Mr. Zach after a recent court appearance in Waukegan. He was there because Vernon Hills Police located these weapons and Zach didn't have a FOID card. They were enlisted by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, which received an anonymous tip. The College of Lake County did a threat assessment on Zach, a student, after it was reported he was wearing a Patriot Front t-shirt on campus. In the police report, the detective notes, quote, I was advised he was also part of a radical group called Patriot Front. We asked Zach in front of his lawyer. There is no comment. He's not part of the Patriot Front. Quit harassing my client. Patriot Front exploded on the scene soon after last year's deadly white nationalist confrontation in Charlottesville, Virginia. ADL's mantra is that we're going to shine a spotlight on these groups that we find uh, dangerous and extreme. For Lonnie Nassiter of the Anti-Defamation League, the Patriot Front is one of those groups. If you have a young man with three AR-15s yeah. and potentially an affinity for the Patriot Front, yeah. you concerned? Yeah. Yes, that is a concern, and that's a concern of law enforcement. It is in this case. Court documents say Zach's banned from visiting this Mundelein pizza joint where he worked after he allegedly made threats. When police found these weapons in Zach's room, to the police report, quote, Officer Scholes asked him, Zach, if he owned any firearms, made threats to anyone, or the school, and or belonged to any radical groups, quote, Jacob Zack continued to be verbally argumentative. His lawyer admonished him to stop talking after his court date. To that, he listened. Why are you not talking now? And Zack pleaded not guilty to the charges. A College of Lake County spokeswoman says Zack's no longer a student at the college. He is also not allowed back on campus. If convicted, he faces potential jail time and the loss of his weapons. Rob. Okay, very interesting, Brad. Thank you. Yeah.